Hello and welcome to Cooking with Melissa, our first cooking show for our Pro Vigil Culture Club YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to our channel to get all the latest updated videos. Guys, thank y'all so much for joining us. I'm so, so super excited. We will be doing salsa today. We are going to be learning how to cook salsa. And guess what? I have a guest chef that's going to be joining me while we do that. And they should be arriving any moment now. Oh, there they are. Let's check out who it is. Well, hey there. Welcome. Come on in. All right. Thanks for having me. Yes, definitely. Look who's here, guys. Miles is here, and he's going to be cooking salsa with me today. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. Got a beautiful kitchen here. Why, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, guys, Miles is here, and he's going to be cooking salsa. So have you ever made salsa before? I have never made salsa before. Oh my gosh. Well, guess what? We're cooking two different salsas today. Two for one. That's right. So we're going to be doing and demonstrating a red salsa and a tamatillo salsa. Have you ever heard of the tamatillo? Never. Okay. Well, guess what? This is going to be fun. So we're going to go through some stuff. We're going to teach you some steps, everyone. We're going to talk to Miles here and, and uh, let's get started. All right. I got your name, friend. Thank you. Yes. Looks thank like you. you have one oh, as well. I do. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right, so first things first, we are gonna wash our hands, because of course we wanna make sure that, you know, we're staying healthy and all that good stuff. So let me go ahead and get in here. We have uh, paper towels as well. I'm gonna use this nice soap. So some black cherry Merlot soap. There you go. Bath and there you go. Big bath body works. There you go, yes, <laughs> yes. So we're gonna come over here and start lathering up. You know, they say recommended 20 seconds. You know, we're going to try to make those 20 seconds here. Scrub real good, get in here. We're going to be cooking some salsa today. So, salsa. Love it. There are all kinds of salsas. Have you ever had um, tomatillo salsa or red salsa? No, most of the salsa that I have is consumed at Paloma Blanca, oh, gotcha. which is a local restaurant. Mm, yes, here in San Antonio. Yes. Very delicious. Yes. Well, we're gonna get to make our very own salsas today, and it's gonna be from Miles, so I'm super excited to have him, and he's gonna help us get that going. All right. Oh, okay, Miles, I got a question for you. Hit me with it. Okay, what is the difference between a display towel and not? Like, talk to me about that. Yes, it's actually funny you say that, because um, I was actually just at one of my neighbor's houses, and I was, uh, I was schooled <clears throat> that you do not use display towels, even though they're hanging in the kitchen next to places where there are messes, but instead <laughs> you use a mess towel or a use towel. Those tend to be hanging by the sink. Yes. So to explain the difference, <laughs> if it looks like it came from Williams and Sonoma, you do not use it. If it looks like it belongs in your bathroom, you use it. Yes. Um, you know, we like to keep our kitchens nice and neat, so we do have display stuff, right? So thank you for knowing that, because we have our handy dandy um, towel right here that we're going to be using to dry our hands with. All right, so let's get started. So let's talk a little bit about red salsa. So some of the super easiest salsa to make is red salsa. So you're going to use tomatoes, you're going to use some onions, you're going to use some limes or lemons, you're going to use some serrano peppers, some garlic, salt, pepper, all the good stuff, and some cilantro. And so have you, or do you know the difference between cilantro and parsley? Because sometimes they look all very similar. I think parsley is like a, like it's like a finish herb, right? Mm -hmm. And cilantro actually like adds flavor. Like yeah, right? it does. And it can be fish finishing as well. So like Paloma Blanca and those places, they might put that stuff on the side. Um, but it definitely is very edible, very delicious. And we're going to see that today in our, um, in our show. So. To get things started, we've kind of fast forward some of the things that we're going to be doing. Um, but in order to start your salsa, you are going to boil some tomatoes and some serrano peppers to get started. So we're going to go ahead and show you kind of how to rinse and wash your vegetables and things that you're going to put into the pot to start boiling. Um, so Miles, let's get a pot and I think we have one in the bottom cabinet if you want to grab that. Okay. We have a beautiful array here of some tomatoes. We have some serrano peppers. We also have the tomatillos. Um, and because we're going to be making two different types of salsas, we're also going to just go ahead and boil them together. So that way we have them ready to go for this show, okay? All right, that's the pot. You this got the pot. it. I got the yes. pot. Yes. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it to the side here and we are going to rinse our vegetables. So for this salsa, let's go ahead, um, just to kind of give everyone the um, details on like how to do this. Um, let's just start off with two uh, tomatoes and we're gonna rinse them off really good. We're gonna put them in the pot. We're also gonna do the same thing with the jalapenos and the tomatillos. So let's start with the tomatoes. Okay. What and, type of tomatoes are these? Um, these are large tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're not Roma. They're large tomatoes. <laughs> okay. How many of them would you like? Them? We're gonna do two. So given the amount of salsa you want to make, guys, is gonna be how much tomato you want to put in, and also. Um, how many serrano peppers. So if you have a very hot palate, you love really spicy salsa, you wanna add, you know, two to three peppers, right? If you're trying to, you know, put one over on a neighbor and you wanna give them the most hottest salsa, you might wanna increase that. However, we are going to um, only put one for taste purposes here um, today. But again, if you're making about maybe two cups, a cup to two cups, you wanna put two tomatoes in there because keep in mind as you boil them they're going to get really soft and then we're going to blend them up so let's go ahead and wash these up and put them in your pot there All right. you can what's go considered that. washing is it just rinsing well you want to kind of or should i use some black cherry merlot no <laughs> please do not use black cherry merlot when you're rinsing your vegetables but go ahead and just give them a good little wipe down um you know there's a lot of different techniques people use of course to washing their vegetables and please feel free to use the techniques that feel comfortable for you in this scenario we are just going to rinse them really well and put them in there and again we've already started the process in the background um so that way we can make sure to show you all the fun stuff put so yes sir please put them in the pot now we're going to rinse off the jalapenos right and so the serrano peppers so we have a dish there miles is going to show it to you right now that ser those serrano peppers oh fancy we got three in here so again, remember, heat level is gonna be based on how many peppers you put in there. So if you really wanna go super hot, you might put all three, but for us, we're gonna go with one. We're gonna go one? Yeah. Not zero? No, well, I mean, it's we're not going salsa. One. We're going one. <laughs> we're salsa. gonna turn we up the spice in here. I'm gonna go with the smallest. Yes, please do. Here's and here. he's gonna go ahead and rinse that off as well, just again, oh. making sure we take off any extra little things that might be on there. Uh, and then we're gonna do the same thing with tomatillos, but I wanted to talk about tomatillos a little bit more. So if you've never um, purchased a tomatillo before, um, yes, sir, please. I'm gonna show you, they come in this fun little husk and I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera, but it is a little shell of a husk, right? Kind of like a leaf and it kind of lives in this little thing, right? While it develops. Um, they are a little bit sticky on the inside, but in order to boil them and get them ready for salsa, we gotta take them out of the husk. So we're gonna just, you know, peeling the little skin back, right? It's just like a little big old leaf that's over them. And then you have this really cute little tomatillo. For anybody from the Midwest, it's just like de-husking a, a corn. Yes, right? exactly. You just gotta pull it back. Now we don't need this sticky husk, um, but again, it does leave everything very sticky. So all you have to do is you're just gonna pop off this husk and now you don't need this. We're gonna throw that away. I'm gonna put it right here on the side. But now you do wanna rinse off your tomatillo. So I have two more there. Can you go ahead and dehusk them and, and we'll wash them up real quick for us? So, so what's what's the appropriate ratio of tomatillos to peppers to yeah. tomatoes, so, to large tomatoes? So the tomatillo is going to go in a separate salsa by itself. So um, the more tomatillos, because they are smaller at times, um, you just got to think about it. Like, can you hold, how many can you hold in your hand? And then you kind of level that out with how many like regular tomatoes you would use, right? So for myself, if I'm gonna do these three tomatillos, I'm gonna put that right there, you wanna dehusk that one. Um, then at that, that would kind of make one, like one batch of salsa. So it's about, about a cup, cup and a half, maybe sometimes two, depending on how big they are. But like in this situation, we're going to, it's gonna be about a cup and a half. And again, we have some boiling, so you'll get to see that in action. Fantastic, right. yay. So put those in the pot. You sure do. You got it. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add the water, right? Um, you are boiling boiling these vegetables, so you want to make sure it kind of goes at least over the top of the vegetables. Do you, got, do you want to put that in there? I just put some water in yeah. there. Yeah. Just right over the just top all, of the vegetables. Yeah. Throw Doesn't it in matter there. what kind. Should we be using like distilled water? Oh, no. Is we're, tap water it's, fine? We're good. Tap okay. water is fine. We're going to boil it up. Again, if your preference is to use tap water for boiling vegetables, please do. Again, I know some of y'all are gonna be in different states when you're watching this, so whatever it is accustomed for you to boil vegetables, please do that. Oh yeah. 
And then just right over the top. Right over the top. Now keep in mind, if you're, depending on the size of uh, pot that you're using, that's good, yeah. Um, the size of pot you're using, if you're using a smaller one, remember that once it starts boiling, right, the water can come up to the, on the side of the edges. Um, so just keep that in mind as well. So if you're using a bigger pot, you might not have to worry too much about that. But if you're having, you have a smaller um, pot, you might want to just keep an eye on the boiling. And, and even though uh, Melissa said to put the water right above the, uh, mm -hmm. the vegetables, the vegetables float. Yes, they do. So that do. will never actually happen. <laughs> That's a good call. That's a good call. I'm glad you pointed that out. Yes, they do float, um, but you should have an idea. You got it. You okay. got it. But you did a great job. So let's put that on the um, oven right here, or on top of the stove, sorry. And uh, so I like, to, I like to do things fast. So I always put mine on high, but then again, I'm in the kitchen and I'm cooking when I'm doing this kind of stuff. So for me to be able to watch it, it's a little easier if I put it on high. However, um, if you put it on low, that's fine. Again, it's all based on how fast you want to make this salsa, right? Do you run any risk of the water spilling over the edges while it's boiling? It can. Like, like with pasta? It can. Um, it's not as common with pasta, but I mean like as it is with pasta, um, but it can go up to the edges because everything's boiling and the, depending on how big the vegetables are, it could kind of come over. So yeah, definitely please, please be very, very careful, right? Always supervise your stuff that's boiling. Cool? Cool. All right. Okay, so right now while we have that's just going, we're going to let that boil. We're going to get everything else ready. So you ready to do some cutting? Uh, yes. If you trust yeah. me with the knife, I'm I, ready to cut. I do. All right. Let's go ahead and get a handy dandy cutting board there. Which right. one would you like to use today? Uh, here. Oh, you want me to use this one? Oh. Yes. And what does this say? Well, it just so happens to be very <laughs> conveniently labeled with a tomato. I wonder what we cut on that. Uh, Hmm, tomatoes or vegetables, right? Maybe that, yeah, handy dandy. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We are going to cut up a couple of different things because these are gonna be ingredients that we're gonna add to our salsa once it's finished boiling. So we are going to cut a lime and a lemon in half. Okay. You're good with that? Here are our handy dandy lemons and limes. You wanna grab one of each and and what do we do? We're going to we're gonna rinse it. Yes, we're gonna rinse it because we want to just, you know, again, any little debris or you know, Soil here. Or dirt. Yeah, whatever might be on there. Stickers <laughs> from the store, that kind of stuff. So how do you tell a good lemon and a good lime from a bad lemon and a bad lime? Is this gonna be a joke? Because I'm gonna put nope. it back to you. Okay. It's, it's <laughs> I was really like, bad. let me make sure. I do so now. Oh, funny. Well, um, I again this is my um, idea of that is depending on how hard or soft it is if i squeeze a lemon or a lime and it's super soft or it's too soft um then at that time i'm like ooh, i don't want that one because sure. it may be going bad right okay. and so for me a little bit more of a firm okay. lime or lemon definitely works so are yours firm and, and These are perfect I think. perfect all right so what we're going to do is because we are going to use our um, lime or lemon depending on which salsa we're talking about here we're gonna squeeze some of the juice into it. So let's go and cut them straight in half. Um, so you would get your knife and you would just cut it half. And the way I do it is I use the ends at just pointing from left to right. So I just put it like that and I am going to just cut it down the middle. I never put my hands under the knife blade. I always kind of hold my fingers like this on the ends. So that way I can just slide my knife right under that and I can just push down slowly going down and now i have two pieces oh, you got two it pieces. two okay. pieces there we go they don't have to be exactly equal to each other just be careful and slice it in half go ahead let's see all right knife skills they did have me sign a waiver uh, yes before coming out, so. <laughs> yes so you, you just go around yeah it. just very slowly okay all right that looks great and then you want me to do the other one as well? Please do, yes. So we have these two. And you know what? And worst case scenario, you don't use it all. You can always cut them into fourths and use them, you know, for a margaritas. beverage. Okay, margaritas are definitely always fantastic. You can definitely use that for that. All right, so great. We got that done. So let's put them into a bowl. You can go ahead and put those in there. What we'll do is we'll put um, lemons in one. Go ahead. I'm just going to add this to yours as well. There we go. And then we're going to put our limes in another one because we're just prepping everything, getting it ready while everything boils. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to rinse off our cutting boards really quickly because we're going to go to the next item. So when you are ready, 
So it's just lime juice. Of course, the acidity is um, really good. You know, we don't have to worry too, too much, right? We're just going to be cutting some other vegetables on there. Okay. We'll just give it a little rinse so that our stuff doesn't taste like vegetables. Like, a, not vegetables, like lemons or limes. Okay. All right. So we are going to be cutting up. Go ahead. Yes. We're going to be cutting up some, uh, some onions. So we have two different types of onions. Tell me about these onions. One is sweet and one is white. Okay. <laughs> that is it. A sweet onion and a white onion. Yeah. So you want to know how to tell the difference? Why don't you go ahead and oh, talk yeah. through that? <laughs> yes. So the sweet onion is a little bit of the yellow, right? More yellow. And the other one, of course, it's a white onion, so it's white. So there is a, definitely a different taste um, to this. This one's a little bit more of a sweeter onion. I prefer sweet onions over the white onions. However, it does give you just a different type of flavor palette. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut some of these onions up. Um, and so everyone knows if you cut onions, you might cry. Are you ready? Yep. You're ready for the challenge. Let's do it. It's like okay. we're watching the notebook for the first time. There, there you go. All right. So we're going to go ahead and what I like to do is I like to kind of cut it in half. And again, using the same technique I did with the limes and lemons, I'm going to hold it on both ends and then I'm going to try to slice it in half. Now, given these onions may be pretty big, you might want to do maybe partial, right? Partial half cut and then cut the other side. Um, some of y'all that are more experienced, you might be able to be like, bloop, done, right? But just take it easy if this is the first time you're cutting onions. Um, so Miles, you can- I did not de-husk us. Not yet. We okay. will in just a moment. So I'm gonna cut the yellow onion, and as I did here, I just put it down the middle of the onion. Again, same kind of concept with the lemons and the limes. And I'm not gonna hold it exactly where the little dots are because my hands are not that big to wrap around. But I'm just gonna kind of put it on the side and slowly Push my um, push my knife down, and then I'm just gonna kind of move it around the onion. Again, it doesn't have to be an exact cut. We're not measuring it for success or anything. Like just cut it in half, guys. And look, boom! I got a beautiful little uh, yellow onion there. That's Let's a, see you do it. That was a great MOS reference, by the oh, way. Measurement of success. That's right. That's right. But the measurement of success today is gonna be delicious tasting salsa made by miles that's what that's what i'm talking about okay. perfect you, go. you got it all I right so. yes yeah, so we're not going to need all the onion today um i'm going to get a uh we'll put it in a bag and we'll use maybe some in another situation right or maybe we'll make something else with the onion so i'm going to just put half of it over here for now okay. just off to the side um but what we're going to do with the half that we're also we're using is we're going to kind of dehusk this right so now we're going to peel back and what I like to do is I'll just use the knife and give it a just a small not I'm not going to cut all the way through it I'm just going to give it a little slither just to cut a line through the top layer of the onion because now it's going to allow me to kind of peel back the skin okay. did you see yeah, yeah so there's like two oh layers. you already got it is there two layers of skin yes on? yes you have this the like kind of like the husk right and yep. then you have this little silver skin okay so it's important that i get underneath sure that. because then what happens is if you don't then when you get it into your food it's just this weird skin right. <laughs> it's still there so you definitely don't want to to have a one of your um guests have that little skin because then they're gonna be like what happened here so we got some more trash going on and i'm just gonna dump this in the little trash can right yeah there's a bin over here conveniently yeah. labeled trash yes yes we're so blessed we have all this beautiful labeled um equipment so we can make sure to use it out of curiosity did you guys pick everything out to be labeled just because i was coming on and you didn't think yeah. i could find like the salsa and the sugar and i the bowl. said <laughs> we need the most labeled kitchen ever all right I because like we it. know miles is going to love it and he is going to just find everything he needs in this kitchen so definitely super duper fancy i love it and we'll be able to keep moving on with our salsa making today all right all right so while we're cutting this and what we're going to do is i'm going to now i'm going to just kind of cut it in half where the where the end was, just cut it in half, and then we're gonna just kind of cut it up. It doesn't have to be fancy. Do we want to remove the end? Yes, you can. Should and we? I, I will remove it after I cut it in half, and this okay. is why. And I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna get two halves just like this. When I turn it to the side, it's gonna yeah. give me an easier cut to cut the half off, right? So Smart. see, now I've just cut the half. It's very easy. It's not gonna slide anywhere. I don't have to worry about losing my finger, my like grip on it and cutting myself, right? So I just kind of cut into a smaller portion and then I just cut off my pieces. Boom, done. You got it? Oh, so, look, look at these cooking hacks that we learned. I know, yeah, you just, yep, there you go. He got it. 
So let me ask you something, right? It's football season, right? That's what we're doing, some salsa. Those are always fun things to kind of take to like a game or a tailgate and stuff like that. What's your favorite football team, Miles? Well, it's definitely not the uh, Houston Texans. <laughs> um, my favorite team is the Dallas Cowboys. Really? Closely oh, followed my by gosh. the Green Bay Packers. Oh, okay, I'm all, I'm all right with you. I'm a big Green Bay Packers fan. Um, you know, my husband is as well, and so we love it. We have, we've been talking about making a trip up there to go and, you know, see the stadium and we're super excited. So hopefully we'll be able to do that this year. Um, but why the Dallas Cowboys? Tell me about that. Uh, just our household love the Dallas Cowboys. Nice. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Well, yeah, that's that, there wasn't a special score. Oh, okay. I was waiting for like, oh, uh, this amazing. This, uh, I met Charlie Aikman back in 1993 or something like that. I was waiting for it, but it, it's okay. It's okay. No worries, man. No, I, I hear you. I'll tell you it's painful. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a labor of love. Yes, love I, I understand. Believe me. So have you ever tailgated? I, uh, no. Um, but it's okay. If you did, what do you think? that would look like? Do you think, like, would you barbecue? Would you... I'd probably barbecue. I would probably play some yard games, like, oh. like, uh, like cornhole. Oh, I love cornhole. Right? Yeah. And toss some washers. Mm -hmm. I, I imagine that's what that would look like. Yeah. Right, tent, have all the gear, right, wearing your jerseys, being super excited. I know it. So what's your favorite um, beverage during the football season? Do you have, like, a go-to? It's like, oh, I gotta drink this or my, my boys aren't gonna win. Uh, no, there, there's not really any, any one in particular. I like, um, I like bourbon, uh, drink bourbon. Um, recently, uh, Crown Royal came out with like a canned <gasps> Coke and um, uh, whiskey and Coke, which is quite good. Oh, very um, nice. And if I'm not drinking that, I enjoy Topo Chico. Oh, wow. It's the only carbonated beverage that I'll drink. You can find us at any local groceries around San Antonio, Texas, as well as convenience stores. All right, guys. So we're gonna get, we're gonna keep on going. We're gonna go ahead and dice these onions up. So we have um, two halves of this end. So you can only just chop up one, and then we'll put it into one of these beautiful glass bowls here, and we'll put them to the side and get ready for the next item we're gonna cut. So I am just going, and it doesn't have to be fancy, everyone. This is going to be something that you're gonna just toss in to kind of give it some more texture and flavor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay it flat here, Miles, and I'm just gonna chop, chop, chop. Don't put your fingers a lot of times on cooking shows. There's no need to be fancy with it. No, it's not. You it no, you, yeah, you definitely don't want to do that. So cut it up, please, everyone that's using a knife. Be very, very safe. Don't try this at home, children. Please advise your parents um, to help you with these kinds of tasks. All you got to do is, you know, just very slowly put those fingers in, use the knuckles, and just cut it up. It doesn't, like I said, don't have to be fancy. It could just be real quick. Um, there's different te techniques of cutting. If you have a different kind of technique, you get the same result, then do what you do best, guys. No worries. It doesn't have to be fancy. Like we said, just cut it up, make it happen, and we'll be good to go. Is there a specific size that we're looking for here from like a cut width standpoint? Are we gonna like dice it and stuff? Um, like that? So there's different things you can do. You can dice it if you like. You can make slithers. I personally like the slither technique, um, and slithers are just super, like a lot thinner pieces. Um, because in another tech, in another show, maybe one day I'll show you kind of another way to make a different type of salsa. Uh, but I like to caramel caramelize my onions as well. So I love caramel. yeah, caramel's good. Caramel is <laughs> We're in the season for caramel apples, so yeah, that'll be super fun. All right, so I'm almost done here. I know you're doing your thing. I'm gonna put mine here. Let me ask you a question: blue cheese or ranch dressing? Ranch dressing. Please. Oh my gosh, me too. Oh my gosh, a lot of people like blue cheese. Um, I love ranch on almost everything. <laughs> so definitely a ranch household. Well, no, not really. My husband likes blue cheese, but I like ranch, so. Okay. But I'm the, I, I say the things that go, so I say ranch. <laughs> All right. You run the house. You're like, I like ranch better. So this, I'm, it's, that's what we have in the fridge. I wish I were in my household, but I don't. Oh. My wife does. <laughs> No worries. Okay, right. you're gonna put it in here. We'll put it in this dish right here because those are the white onions. I have. Should I dice it? Yours are small. No, no, no. You're fine. Okay. No, no, you're fine. These this, big chunks. Yes. Like you do massive. not have to. Yeah. You do not have to be. Everything doesn't have to be cut exactly the way, like everything equally, because again, 
It's just salsa. We're, We're gonna, gonna chunky salsa. We could, yeah. We're just gonna make it happen. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. That is amazing. Now, because we are, um, yeah, I'm gonna give it a little rinse for that, and we are going to be doing Okay, so the next thing we're gonna be doing is we're going to be cutting up some garlic, or we're gonna be pressing some garlic, I should say. So we're gonna put your, these are gonna be the white onions, we're gonna put them right there. Okay. That's a clove of garlic, or a bundle of garlic. There is a term for that. Do you know what it is? A clove. The, the, the inside is the clove, but I'm not sure if it's a bushel. I'm probably wrong. And you know what? Y'all add the comments. Tell no, me I'm if really, you know what it is. I'm really curious. What is it? I, I don't know. I don't have my I don't have my watch today. Otherwise, I would ask Siri real quick to tell me what it is. But we'll, we'll find out. We'll have to put it in the comments when we put all our description in there for all the recipe of what we're making today. So we need to open that. We need to open this. Yes. Yeah, is, is it the same dehusking technique? Kind of. Yeah. Kind of the same thing. It's like an onion, and it just but the outside is kind of like an onion. But the inside is gonna have a plethora of clusters of garlic. Okay. <laughs> so it takes a little bit of patience, a lot of diligence. Yes. And so as mom is doing that, I'm just checking on our boiling vegetables and they look to be done, the ones we pre-boiled, uh, right? They've, they're already at the peak, so they'll be ready to uh, start getting in the blender in just a moment. Oh wow, look at that. I feel like there's a better way of doing this. I think you can buy these pre -chops, You can. Right? <laughs> you can, and it's so funny you say that because we actually had a discussion about that. We said, hmm, should we buy this already done in the jar where they're already diced? Or we said, no, wait. Should let's we, make Miles do this. Let's make Miles open up the garlic because we knew that you were going to enjoy it so much. This is, man, this is, I appreciate you guys thinking of me. Yes, that we did. From the labels kitchen to the cloves of garlic, Holy we wanted cow. to make sure that we did that for you. How do I know the peeling's done? There's a That's nice little sheen coming on. Correct. This. So this means that the outer layer is done. Okay. So let me can can we show the camera? Let's show them that cluster. So this is what is uh, what you get after you kind of dehusk the whole thing. So you took out that outer layer of the husk or skin. Then you get these amazing, beautiful clovers of garlic. You do not want to use all of this garlic. You just really need one or two. Just a little bit. Yes. But we bought this whole thing. Correct, we okay. did, because I'm sure we're gonna make something else with all that garlic. Maybe another thing is salsa. Two cents, that whole thing probably was like two cents. <laughs> two cents. It's really not that much. Yeah, it was probably pretty pretty amazingly done. Okay, let me, cheers. So in, <laughs> let's clear off all your husks there, because we don't want to get those into the, into the thing. And then I'm gonna show you how to kind of we're gonna cut this up and use this amazing tool. And we'll talk through this. All those beautiful husks. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Since you got the task to de-husk it. All right. <laughs> All right. So while we're getting ready for that, tell me, who is the best cook in your family, Miles? Uh, oh, Uh-oh. Yeah, uh, my Maybe. wife is the best cook in our household, okay. for sure. Uh, best cook in our family is actually a friend who does all of our cooking. Really? Um, yes, uh, Vincent Brown. He is phenomenal. Really? Yes. Mm. Everything that he makes is great. He made the most wonderful cinnamon rolls. Um, I think it was a week or two ago. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. That sounds delicious. Oh, love me a good cinnamon roll. some desserts. Yeah. Oh. Wait, so Maybe we can cook some desserts. We are. We're gonna. Yeah, it's on the menu. It's right. on the menu for like one it. of our shows here. So definitely stay tuned. Do not forget, right? Tell them, Miles, to follow and subscribe to our Pro Vigil Culture Club YouTube channel. Don't yes, forget to do that. Please do. Can I call somebody out for the dessert making? Oh, okay. I would like to call out our vice president of operations, Ryan. <gasps> oh, there we go. Well, Ryan, when you're watching this. Be ready, because we'll be calling. Can I can I call it a specific oh. dessert? Oh, okay. I'm sure. gonna make some tiramisu. Tiramisu. Oh <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, you know what? We will make sure we get on that. That he is enjoying this, so that means there's something more behind it. We're gonna have to do more digging in that. But yes, we will definitely put it on the list. We'll make sure to reach out to 
Ryan, yep. and ask him about this tiramisu, and I'm hoping he's excited as much as we are right now. I'm sure he is. He's All probably right. elated watching this. Yeah, <laughs> no worries. Okay, so we're gonna cut up this real quick because we're yes. gonna use this machine, or not machine, but this handheld device. There it is, can I use that? Yeah, you are gonna use that. So let's get your piece of clove. So we have this little clove, and it has its own little skin on it. So what we're gonna do is we need to cut it off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a small little end the, where the pointy end is at. I'm gonna cut it off here on one side, and then I'm gonna cut the tail end of it where it's kind of connected to the clove. I'm gonna cut that as well because we want to peel this skin off a little bit more easily, okay? So cut once you do ends. that, yes, cut both ends. Be very careful because remember, it is slippery. It's a small little piece of clove. Um, so it can easily, you know, come loose. So be, be very, very careful when, whenever cutting any type of clove. And I use the same onion technique where I cut it a little slither on the top or bottom and just so I can easily kind of start peeling this away. You got it? Yeah. All right. Man, Miles, you're gonna, you're gonna go home, you're gonna be like, oh, I made salsa. I know how to, I'm gonna be the expert salsa maker. Isn't that gonna be amazing? It's gonna be wonderful. My wife is gonna be so happy. Yeah, you're gonna buy a big bag of chips and say, I got salsa tonight, everyone. That's exactly right. <laughs> yes. I can't wait to be the salsa guy. That's right. Everyone's gonna be like, oh, call Miles. He's the salsa guy. Invite him to that tailgate because he's gonna bring the best salsa ever. I know it. All right, I think I'm struggling here. It's okay. Is that, is that what do you think? Oh yeah. That's enough. Yeah. Yours is like really, okay, <laughs> I got this one. No worries. No, here, just use this one. You can use that one, because that'll be enough. Oh, this is enough? Yeah, sure. Okay. All right, so this is, yeah, it's completely, you got all of it, okay. Oh yeah, no worries. All right. So let's go ahead, so what you're gonna do is you stick it into the side with the holes, right? And you can show the, the camera as well. It's kind of like a press, right? On one side it's flat, and the other side it has the holes where you're going to press out the garlic. Yes, perfect. And so we're gonna press it into this little hole, dish, probably. right? Yes, right there. We are gonna get this place smelling like salsa, all the delicious flavors of salsa. And then I just take the knife maybe and just knock it down a little bit. Yep, you got it. Beautiful. So, so it's just that little dollop. Yep, that little dollop. That's just enough. That's enough for one, but I'm gonna cut up this one right here that you had, and then we're going to add this little piece as well. Remember, um, the seasoning, everyone, is going to be to taste. So if you love to have like a lot of garlicky um, treats, right, then put more garlic. If you um, like things to have more of an onion taste or cilantro taste or lemon or lime, do what works for you. We're giving you that base so that way you can kind of develop your own flavors. Here you go. You can press this one as well into your garlic press. And we will put that in there so we can use in just a moment. Perfect. Man, it's like you always just know how to press garlic. I know. God, you're an expert at that. I'm telling you. <laughs> so what's your favorite, favorite ultimate dish, Miles? Tell me. Um, dessert. Oh, dessert. Any specific type of dessert? Is it a tiramisu? Is that well? That's why there was an ulterior motive to that, that whole tiramisu thing. You know, um, oh but I'm man. not discriminatory to any dessert, really. Oh, yeah. I like ice creams, custards, mm, yes. uh, like strawberry shortcake. Oh. I like honey buns. Oh, I like yeah. cinnamon rolls. I like sticky buns. Oh, yes. yeah, have you had those? Um, I don't know. I in it, you may have even mentioned it, but it's the it's like a cinnamon roll, but it's with like kind of that caramel and pecan. Is that a sticky bun? Is that what it's That's called? A, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, so delicious. Absolutely. With a warm cup of coffee or cocoa, forget about it. Like 20 pounds. Forget about forget it. Forget about it. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you. So delicious. The season is right now where everyone's cooking and doing stuff and having barbecues and all kinds of things. What's your favorite and, season? Oh, I have so many. I love Halloween um, and I love Christmas and I love Thanksgiving. I just kind of the whole end of the year, okay. the fourth quarter of the year. That's it. It's about cooking and so just the, 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 the fall people. and the, the beginning part of winter. Yes, I love some great just pumpkin pies. I um, I love to make pumpkin pies or like scratch, like apple and pumpkin and all those great desserts. Um, I make a chorizo stuffing, cornbread stuffing oh, as well. Wow. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that one too. It's so delicious. Um, 
but just different little takes on different things. I love baking. My husband loves bake. Like he loves it. I stopped for a while, right? But um, to, to you know, did to you your, stop because he loves it? Yes, he loves it too much. <laughs> Fun fact, and I'm sure my husband will end up watching this video, and he's gonna be like, really? Um, I used to make him German chocolate cakes all the time. Really bad. Love it. Love it. I mean, three tier German chocolate cake. I would do the cake and I would do a layer of buttercream, chocolate buttercream, and then I would lather it with all of the, you know, the topping, ridiculous. And so whenever we would have barbecues, I would make sure to make it. Well, he started making me do two. And so he would hide one in the pantry and so his friends, one of his best friends already knew. So if there was no more cake, he would be like, where'd you hide it? And he would go to the pantry and he would tell my husband, really, you have a whole cake just for you? And he says, that's mine, put it away. But um, but yes, it's just delicious. Just, I love it, I love it. I feel like I need to meet your husband. Oh no, y'all would just const, y'all would just sit there and laugh the whole day. It's so, yeah, he's, he's so hilarious. But um, he loves cake, he loves, you know, anything sugary, like make it and I do it. Um, all right, let's move on. What do you think? You're ready for some blending? I'm ready for some blending. Oh my gosh, super excited. Okay, we need a salsa bowl. Salsa bowl. Would it be the bowl that is labeled salsa by chance? I don't know. What do you think? Well, let me go read all these labels. <laughs> let's see. What do you think? Oh, here it is. Salsa bowl. Man, that is so amazing. Guys, we have this uh, amazing blender right here we're going to be using. So we're going to talk about kind of the uh, steps. So we're going to make one salsa first and then we're going to make the other one really quickly for y'all. So we're going to use this handy dandy salsa. We're going to use this one for the red salsa and then we have another bowl for the green salsa. So let's get, let's get going. But before we do that, let's cut up this uh, cilantro right here. Let's cut up I almost forgot cilantro. about our cilantro. We want to make sure to cut up real quick. Yep. Let's rinse off these little things real quick because of course we have all the little, um, we have all of the... Because well, we, garlic can't, we can't have it tasting like garlic, even though we're putting garlic in there. Yeah, we don't want all that craziness. But I'm going to give you this bundle here of cilantro. And they usually come, like I said, in bundles, and they have this little handy dandy thing there. You have to undo it or cut it off. You, you might, if I cut it? You can, and you might want to do it right over your board just in case some of it kind of comes up. Oh, there we go. We have pre-rinsed this, so just letting y'all know, but you definitely want to give it a good little No, we rinse. literally washed it. Oh, we, we, well. Yeah, we literally, we literally washed it with hand soap on accident. That's right. So. We don't recommend doing that. <laughs> Our cilantro is going to be like black cherry merlot cilantro for today. So, yes, our salsa is going to have definitely that amazing uh, full body scent of black merlot cherry, uh, cherry black cherry merlot Bath and Body Works foaming uh, hand soap. So Don't you just love when uh, Bath and Body Works offers their like five for 25 Oh so my gosh. Two times a year we go shopping. Two times a year at Bed Bath and yeah. Body Works. That that body works. Is that, do they also run <laughs> a channel sale? They do, and there's a sale because they like to send me uh, text messages. And um, so when I see them, I have to look away because then my husband will have a heart attack because I will come out of there with five bags. Yep. But I only do it maybe two to three times a year, but I buy all the stuff I need during that period so that way I don't have to go back. My see? wife does the same thing. Yeah. And we have drawers right. and drawers and drawers full of candles that never get burned. But every year we just go ahead and we just keep you getting know, more. You never know when they're going to come in handy. I, I, I see why you and my husband would be able to talk all day long because I'm sure he will talk about the drawers that I have full of all these candles and everything. And he tells me, really? And I say, I need it because I might need it. And he says, you never need it. And I said, I do right now. And then I'll burn 10 candles at one time to purple point. So. Thank you for my bushel. <laughs> Thank you for my bushel. All right, guys. So real quick, let's just talk about this. Cilantro, here it is. Um, we're going to de-leaf. I don't know if that's really a term for this. We're going to de-leaf it. So let's get as many little leaves as we can without having all the extra stalks, right? Like all the extra stems, I should say. Sorry. And how many stems should we de-leaf? Oh, you're going to need a, a plethora. I'm gonna need a plethora. Can, can you quantify plethora? <laughs> For those out in the, the audience, is that like, is, I don't know, what do you mean? I don't know. My like, measurements are so off, guys. Like, I'm gonna just call things a lot. And then you know, we're just, just gonna wing it. We're gonna wing it. Let's make a good, like, let's, let's, okay, this is how we're gonna measure it. If it fits all in your hand, that's how much you need. Let's do that. And, and here's the benefit. If you make bad salsa, 
you'll never be asked to make it again. Oh, that's true. <laughs> so, so you will not, not be the salsa it. guy. But guess what? Miles is going to make the best salsa, and but he I'm is gonna, going to be the salsa but guy. But I'm confident we're going to emerge from this a better salsa maker. That's and right. that's what it's all about, right? Just that, <laughs> you know what? Yes. Measure yourself in success on how many people ask you to make salsa on your next visit to their home. Because nobody at the office is going to be eating this, right? Uh, is it just gonna be us? Well, we're well. Uh oh, we're gonna have a plethora. Of salsa. A plethora. Of <laughs> it's not even the right measurement. Be a lot. We're gonna have a lot of salsa, so we may take some back, so people can have some okay. if we, because it's gonna be so delicious if we don't all eat it, you know, eat it ourselves. But we'll turn off the comments on this video before we have them taste it, right? Oh, we so could. We'll, we'll close those. <laughs> but like, please, no commenting on our salsa. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be delicious. Okay, let's see here. So I did, yeah, see, look, there it is. You got a lot of, you got a lot of, uh, I got a lot of little salsa. leaves here. Yeah. How about you? I got quite, I, I got think, quite, quite a few. Yeah, I think that's good. I think we did a great job. Well, yeah, you, oh, you definitely this know how wonderful. to, yes. So let's get that rest of that and let's just toss it into our handy dandy colander here. Col, col, colander. Colander. <laughs> there we go. Bam. Boom. Washed Merlot cherry, black cherry Merlot. Perfect. We're just gonna put that right back there. We're gonna get all of. Oh, we're not done here. Let's. I'm gonna get that back to you. We're gonna cut this, Miles. We're gonna cut this. Gonna cut these it. leaves. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Because yep. this is where it's gonna get interesting. Again, please, everyone, practice safe knife handling skills. Miles, please practice safe knife handling skills. Safe, yep. What we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna kind of get it all together. No. Oh. Not yet. <laughs> we're gonna, but we're gonna get it together, and then we're gonna kind of squeeze it. We're gonna kind of, not too hard, because we don't want to kill this poor leaf. But we're gonna kind of squeeze it together. Why are we doing that? Because we're gonna cut it, and we want to cut it in a way that we're not gonna just hit the air. We want to cut it so it's cut up and it's diced up really well. All right. So we're just gonna kind of squeeze it together. Now this is my technique. If you have your own, please feel free to use it, guys. This is just mine. It works well. Oh, okay, that's, yeah, right there, you got yep. it. And now I'm just going to, again, not put my fingers on the knife, I'm gonna kind of knuckle it towards there, and I'm just gonna slowly, just kind of slice through the leaf as I do my thing. So I'm just slowly, very slowly, don't get your fingers in there, just kind of cutting through it. And because they're leaves, right, it's not like you can just lay the leaf on top of the other one and maybe you have the time to do that. I'm just going to cut it up, just run my, my knife through it, kind of keeping it a little bit together so when I cut it up, it's not too crazy. And then I have kind of this real nice little cut up leaf. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. My Miles cut this so much better than I did. Let me let me show y'all that. Okay, let's let me show you this. It looks like mashed it, swine. But it's okay, but it's good. You know, <laughs> let's show this. Everyone, if you need someone to cut cilantro, please ask Miles. He did an amazing job. That's pretty bad. No, it looks good. It's actually pretty good. So, yes, great. Now let's see. Do we have a handy dandy? Can you let me grab one? We need one more. We'll put the little cilantro in here. Okay. So let's put your amazing cilantro cuts right on there. Perfect. All right, we're gonna put this off to the side and we're gonna just rinse this off real quick, just in case we're gonna need it, which we probably won't. All right. And again, using the- The use towel. The use towel, not the, not the display towel. You do not wanna use the display towel. We don't. Okay, are we ready? We are ready. Now we are ready. Okay, we are going to now make the red salsa. Okay, so you always want to be careful when you're taking the pot because it has hot water. So never run with pots, never run with knives, right? Always those, you know, scissors, all that good stuff. So we're going to take this pot off and we're going to bring it over here, but let's be very careful. So we have some pot holders. Some oven mitts. Some oven mitts. We have some oven mitts. Yes. Are you using the display I'm towels? I'm not going to use them. I'm just moving them out of the way so I Oh, don't no. Them. She's using the display towel. Where's the oven mitts? I am looking for them because we may have put them over I just, here. I, have, I'm, I just happened to find these oven mitts. I am going They're to. They're just going to be all we're right just, here. 
chest there in this Where drawer. Where is this? You can go for oh, it. Oh, hello. There I in totally. This drawer right there. I told. Oh, look. I totally did not see them because I forgot we bought new ones. And look at these guys. Like little plants. There you they're, go. They're like little plants. The, there you go. We're gonna grab this and we're gonna bring it nice and slow right over here. And we're gonna put it on top of our dirty dish top. Okay. Or used one, I should say. Oh, these are very careful. Nice. It gives me a good sturdy grip. Yes, right here. Those are the silicone ones. These Aren't are they silicone amazing? Ones. Yeah, sure. Yes. These are quite nice. Perfect. Move these dish towels, these these display dish towels out of the way so we didn't get them all dirty. We didn't want to do them. Okay. So now we have, and I'm going to use this spoon to show you, we have this amazing boiled tomato. And I'm just going to lift it up. Ooh. And I don't know when it's done. It looks like this. So, so, it, <laughs> so it actually, because the skin kind of comes apart, it looks mushy. Um, so you want the tomatoes to pretty much be cooked all the way through. Um, because it's going to give you that texture you're looking for for your salsa. Okay, because it looks, yeah, I mean, it looks like it, the skin is kind of split, mm -hmm. so it looks like it has yes. cracks in it. So that is the, right. that's the one tomato. This is our jalapeno. It looks kind of, ooh, like it's our one pepper. One pepper, mild. We're not doing it too hot. And then our tomatillos are also in here, and they have also kind of the same thing. They're more, um, really, just, if you touch them, they feel like they're just ready to burst, right? So um, what we're going to do right now is we are... <clears throat> you boil you yes we boiled them. boiled them yep. yes and again remember temperature is all based on if you're sitting on your stove like you're cooking and you want it to happen faster you would put it a little higher lower if you're just taking your time whichever way you would like to do it but now we're going to start putting ingredients together so let's get started um i'm going to take the blender i'm going to take the blender you want to talk about the blender uh, no not yet no nope. let's do it okay so now if you want to go ahead and we're going to put in one of the big tomatoes very carefully. With the spoon because the water is probably hot. It is still hot, yes. So it's not going to like, you're just going to throw it in there. There we go. And I don't need to cut that up. You can push it down. Oh yeah. Put the other one on the other side. Let's see if I can turn it this way. Now I'm really glad we got this blender. Are you? Mm-hmm. There we go. All right. You see how it kind of falls apart? It's because yep. it's pretty much done, right? Okay. So what we're going to do is before we do anything, we are going to give it a little blend just to kind of get everything to the bottom. But I'm going to use this spoon right here. And I'm just going to kind of give it a good little kind of push down because it needs to kind of get to the blades, right? I'm just going to give it a little bit of a push. And then we're going to put this baby together and we're going to hit blend. Are you ready? We're going to hit blend. Yes, we are. You're going to get to do that. All and right. I'm going to step away. Give me a second. Five. A, I have not seen a blender. Like I haven't before. either. So hold. I. And that's why you're having me do it. <laughs> right? Do we hold it down, Marissa? How do... I got this. I got yeah. This. Okay. I'm gonna All step right. Away. So I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold this. <laughs> I'm, gonna... And I'm gonna push this. The only button that there is here. I think so. And I'm gonna push it. We're gonna do it. Okay. Give okay. it. Just keep it. A couple more pulses. Okay. Stop. The little tape. <laughs> now that we know it works. <laughs> <That's extra laughs> <push>. <laughs> yes. All right, so what we're going to do here is we are going to push it down a little bit more because we have some still kind of on the top. So, oh my gosh, but look at this tomato. I mean, it doesn't have anything in it yet, but it's just tomato and it looks so delicious and fresh. You know, the good thing about salsa is that it's so fresh. So it's something you can make really quickly. Again, we're taking our time because we're talking through it, but you can um, make this really quickly and have it ready for game. You want to push it now? Just a couple more. You just push it, yeah. Let's give it a little bit more of a blend. This is actually pretty amazing. I like this burger. I'm going to have to get me one myself. I like it too. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put this jalapeno in there and we're going to start adding all of the ingredients for the taste. You ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead. You want to put in the jalapeno there? All right, I'm going to put in the jalapeno. Yep. All right, add that jalapeno. We're gonna add um, some garlic. And you can uh, use the teaspoon one over here. The uh, little, Jeez, yes. Little ones. So yes, and so we will also be putting the uh, measurements of all of the items in the description on this video so that way you can go ahead and also um, be able to make this salsa as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get 
basically one clove of um, what we put in there. You want full teaspoon? Either way, we're just gonna dump it in there because it's just one clove. This, we're making two separate ones, so that's where it's kind of like just throw one clove in there. Perfect, yes. And we're gonna add the cilantro in here as well. So let's get, we're gonna do a, a bushel in. Yeah, this is my measurement of just grab it, like the claw machine, grab it and throw it in. You got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. And so then we're going to add, let's add, let's do um, a little bit of the white onion. Let's add, again, another pinch of the white onion. Which one? Um, I'm 100% sure because sure I cut the yellow. Okay. See? Ah, uh, the sweet onion. And then it's just so a little just, pinch. Yeah, just throw, yeah, just a pinch. And again, you have your own preferences. So if you don't like onion, then don't add onion. Maybe you like onion powder versus the actual onion. Maybe you like more garlic, cilantro, all that good stuff. You will be able to kind of have this baseline and then you just add it. Right? Well, and we can always just like taste it after we do a basic, right? Correct. So it'll probably start light, I would imagine, and yes. then add more. Yes. Okay. So we need to add salt. Okay. So I'm going to say let's let's use your teaspoons because we don't we yep. want to kind of measure this out first. And, and maybe what? we should look at the uh, oh. container that says salt on it. Yes. Would okay. You agree? Do you? Oh, there it is. Oh, here happens to be salt. Salt. Please measure that. And let's let's use um, a teaspoon of salt. One full teaspoon. One full teaspoon of salt, please. He has his handy dandy measuring tools. A full or heaping? Full is fine. Just full? Yeah, because we are going to um, blend it and then we'll taste for, you know, to make sure we're good. So, any pepper? Yes, please. And let's do, um, thing, yeah, maybe. let's do, how, let's get yeah, a smaller one. Okay. And that one is what size? This is a one-fourth teaspoon. Perfect. One-fourth teaspoon to start out with. Again, you're going to add for, for your preference. A full thing? Um, really shit, yeah. There you go. Just flat on top. Okay. Flat on top. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. So now we're going to blend it again, everyone. So the biggest thing is to, um, based on your texture, some people like things chunk, like a chunky salsa. Mm -hmm. Some people like it to be a lot more smoother. I'm more of a smoother uh, salsa kind of person. And so um, I would like to do, I like to do the salsa. Now keep in mind everything is so hot. I mean like hot in temperature, right? And so we want to, mm, you can smell it. Oh, it does smell. Mm -hmm. So it smells good. It smells good. <laughs> it doesn't just smell, but it smells, it smells good. like warm salt. So. That's right. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pour it out. Now, again, based on taste, right? You can put more salt, more pepper, you can add more garlic, you can do all those things. But I'm gonna go ahead and pour it out and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of um, lime juice to it and that way, because it's gonna give it a different, um, a different taste as well. And we have a lime squeezer. Ooh, look at that delicious. Oh, we got an actual machine for we it. We do, we do have a machine for it. And so, uh, let me see here. We are going to move this salsa right over here. You wanna just squeeze kind of halfway through there and then we'll just give it, we'll get a spoon and we will met, uh, stir it up. See, get you a spoon. Is that, a, yeah, perfect. And then, there we go. And that's a big one, but yeah, we'll use this one. Okay, perfect. So it slightly has a little bit of chunk, nothing too big. And now we kind of give it just a little mix and that's it, that's all we need. So again, remember, this is all based on taste, right? So you need to add more salt, clean. You can always add it at this point. Um, we have poured pretty much all of it in there except for this, but uh, we don't want to overflow. Um, so we're gonna put that aside really quickly and we're gonna do the tomatillo salsa real fast. Perfect. Okay, so. I can rinse that. You want to rinse that for me? Thank you. We'll have to rinse this as well. Handy dandy blender. This is really nice. I like this blender. I go through blenders pretty often, especially when we're um, when we we're doing a lot of the. Um, 
cooking and you know especially salsa making because we like to make it in big batches so we are going to be i'm going to be helping out here and we're going to dump these beautiful tomatillos in here as well as the um jalapeno to get that all together all right and now we are going to now uh cover this up and just give it a quick blend so I will tell you, tomatillo salsa is really delicious. And also, the good thing about that is you can turn it into different things. So, what I mean by that is you can add avocado, you can add sour cream to your uh, tomatillo salsa. Yes, avocado, we, you can always add sour cream to that and just make it a different texture, which is super delicious. Um, so let's go ahead and add, uh, let's add some, we're going to add some sweet onion. You want to grab the garlic. Okay. So, so just to make sure I understand, we use the uh, the white onion for the regular. Right. And, and we're, we're using, using the sweet. sweet onion for the tomatillo. Correct. Right. And you can use whichever one uh, y'all want to use, but we definitely try to try a little different for y'all. Same. Then, full, yes. Full, full. Mm -hmm. Garlic is delicious. Very good. Perfect. Okay, so we have the onion, we have the tomatillos, the jalapeno. We are gonna add cilantro now. And we're gonna give it a good heaping amount of cilantro because we are doing more. a little bit more. Perfect. Now with the tomatillo, uh, because they're a different type of, uh, they're not like a tomato, um, I don't, I try not to add too much extra um, like water from the bowl. Sometimes if you need to thin out your salsa, you can always add a little bit of the water that's been boiled with it. Um, but the tomatillos are a little bit different. The texture after they're boiled are a little bit more watery in a sense. So you don't have to add too much extra water or anything like that. We didn't have to use those on our tomatoes today on our red salsa because they had enough um, liquid in them to have to not add extra. But And so did the tomatillos. We just need to add our salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Yes, please. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Mm. Same amount? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna use a one teaspoon of salt. Yes. And you can always add more if you don't need to later, but definitely as a baseline. And then a one fourth of pepper. Yes. Perfect. Delicious. I also with my tomatillos, just as um, you know, quick tips. I like to caramelize my onions um, on a skillet and then um, pour them into my um, my salsa. It gives it a different taste as well. So those are always little things that you can always do, you know, when you're trying to make salsa. Ooh, nice. All right, let's get a bowl for this thing. That looks amazing. Let's put some lime in this one. Or no, we're doing, let's do lemon. Let's do lemon. Cause it's, yeah, let's do lemon. Um, it is gonna give it a slight different taste. And again, if you're more partial to lime, then please use lime. If you are more partial to lemon, use your lemon, whichever one is better for you. Please feel free. That's good right there. And, and again, your lime and your acidity, um, you know, how much you want. Again, it's all up to you. We're just doing kind of half of a half, right, of the squeeze on those, just to give it a good little mix. All right. Miles, you've made salsa today. Are I you did. excited? I, I feel like I'm uh, a salsa champion. I think so, I think so. You know, um, so, I mean, salsa making might not be your first career path. No. Nope. But talk to me about that. Talk to me about how you got into what you're doing today. Uh, I've always just loved numbers. Uh, so, you know, finance was just a traditional career for me. I uh, started out in the investment industry, doing real estate investments, underwriting those for commercial properties, and uh, made the switch to uh, corporate finance, and that's that's been that. It's just suited uh, my skill set. Nice. Well, we always, always have a pleasure with you, and, and I so appreciate you being here today and helping us, because we're about to try this amazing salsa you made. Yep. So excited about it. Um, so what advice do you give to our team members out there, the, you know, with ProVigil? Yeah, um, you know, I, I would say that I've, I've had the ability to see ProVigil grow and evolve a lot over the past four and a half years. 
and just really love all the contributions and strides that the organization has made. You know, if I could give any advice, um, it's really we just need problem solvers. We just need problem solvers. Uh, we need people focused on the uh, the customer experience, and it's in delivering on those two things that we'll uh, we'll be able to continue to differentiate ourselves and, and deliver uh, exceptional service. Thank you so much. You know, it's it's a pleasure. Um, in the amount of time that I've been here with Provisual, I've seen amazing things happen, and. And I'm so excited to be a part of that as well. And, you know, thank you again so much. Well, for we love here. having you. No, we appreciate it. All right, let's go. Salsa tasting time. I'm excited. I'm going to move this over here. All right. Make sure to move our thing. Let's get, uh, let's get this going. Are I'm, you a little nervous? I am. You are? I am. You know why? Because it's been a minute. I haven't been, I haven't made salsa in a little while. Um, and I am just super excited about tasting salsa. I love salsa. I love some salsa, so we're gonna just, you know, add this little thing. Let's, you know, and decorate your plates, right? We're gonna Presentation have- Presentation is important. Yes, yes, and so we are going to put some, you know, we're gonna have a little get together. We are gonna put, you know, the bowl in the middle. We're gonna add some chips on the side. These are HEB's sea salt chips from the bakery, guys. These are absolutely amazing. These also have, again, sea salt on them. So which helps um, in regards to like adding additional salt. There you go. You can add a little bit more to your plate, you know, put it there for maybe a tailgate or a football game. Mm. And you can also use some cilantro as a garnish on the side. It might not, you know, pick you know, the leaves, pick, pick the, the leaves. leaves and oh my gosh, look at that. Boom. You got this little garnish right there. So delicious. Let's get a close up on that. I know. Look at that. They Only they could smell <laughs> they it, right? see it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, Miles, let's right. taste it. Cheers. And again, salt and and and, um, and uh, pepper preference. You just add it yourself, um, and then you just you know make it happen. That's really good. Oh my god. That's actually good. Miles, you oh. did an amazing job. Oh, that's oh my awesome. god. Yeah. Okay. So I can use salsa all day. Salsa and chips. You just take it with you. <laughs> we'll slide that on over here. Take it with you, yes. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try the green salsa. You keep okay. eating that red one. Um, My wife is gonna be so impressed. Delicious. It's awesome. So delicious, guys. Um, the uh, with the sea salt chips and the tomatillo salsa. Oh my god, they're so delicious. Because you know you don't have to add the extra salt to your dish. Um, and it's not, we didn't put too I much put jalapeno. a lot of lemon in there. Did you? But you can, <laughs> but it, actually it tastes really good. But it does taste good, so. It's a, it tastes like I put a chip and squeezed lemon juice on there. Well that's good, because that's how they do it in the Mexican restaurants too. They'll like do, you know, they put all their lemon and their salt and everything on them. Very delicious, guys. Um, oh my God. I'm so excited. We're gonna have to, Make some for the, you know, for the for Office. the store, definitely. I mean, for the store, for the office. Um, we'll have to take some in one day. All right, guys. Well, come on. Thank y'all so so much for being here with us. Again, this is our first, um, you know, I'm gonna say celebrity chef, right? Um, super excited to have Miles. Thank you so much again. Thank you for joining us for this video. We hope that um, you know, if you didn't make salsa before, now you can. Um, or you know, share with a friend or family. Don't forget to subscribe to the Pro Vigil Culture Club YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or comments, you can always put them in the, in, um, in below in the comment section. Um, and thank you so much. We appreciate it. Y'all have an amazing day. Bye. Bye.